Hey, what's up? It's Joe back with the final video for the AWS Lambda uh, course. Uh, it's going to be a really, really short video. Just going to go through pushing that um, Lambda to the AWS server so you can use it um, live. And if you're liking these videos, please go ahead and subscribe and do not forget to hit that bell to get those notifications. I will greatly appreciate it. So where we left off at was we had everything working locally with TypeScript for the Lambda. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can watch my past videos. There is a part one, part two, and a part three, which are all inside of the same playlist. This is just part four. So I've touched on everything else already. So I'm just gonna go through this pretty quickly. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just push this Lambda to production or to the AWS server. And you know, for to do this, you have to have the AWS configure already set up. You have to have your users already set up. Um, all the stuff we've already touched on before. So let's just go ahead and push this. So using the SAM CLI. So SAM deploy, got it. All right. Oh uh, yeah, I need to go inside the actual folder. That will help out. Uh, all right, so let's try that again. Okay, should work now. I'm gonna call it um, tester, 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 AWS, I don't know. Keep that region, yes, yes, yes. While that's going, I'm just gonna say cheers. It's my first drink of the day. I'm gonna say yes, all right. So right now, that should come up shortly. Currently, there's nothing. Once that's done, we're gonna have two, we're gonna have the movies and the Hello World one. Um, although we're just gonna worry about the movies one whenever it's done. Hurry up. It's supposed to be a short video. Mm, there we go. All right, so you're gonna have to do, um, you're gonna make sure you have the correct permissions to run this or it, would, it wouldn't work. And this could be a, a crazy headache if you don't know how to do it. So this is one that we worry about, the movies one. So it's just gonna click on it. All right, and we're gonna to go to permissions and we're gonna edit the rows. So you can do this two different ways. You can edit this row or you can just create a whole new row. I'm just gonna create a new row and just give it um, some name. I'm just gonna call it, um, Tester AWS, or Tester Lambda, I don't know, Roll, I don't know. Um, so this is the part you have to make sure you do. Um, there's a type in KMS, this AWS KMS decryption permission. So that's how we're able to get the full, be able to decrypt those, um, those values that we have saved in the parameter store. So you have to make sure you give yourself, um, give that role permission to do that, all right? And I think if you go to like the regular rows, I don't think it pops up in here. So I think you have to do it from this screen. Um, if you try to do it from the other, the main area where they like do the rows, I don't think it works, but we'll see in a second, we'll just go over there. But either way, you have to make sure you have this um, in the side of your row. So if I go back to permissions, go to my tester Lambda, Lambda row. So I have that and it gave you two different things. So Lambda AWS execution, a KMS execution role and then this um, basic KMS, well, basic execution role. So you're gonna need both of those. I think one is like to do logs or something like that, I can't remember, but just once you choose it to give you those two. And then the other one that we're gonna need is be able to access the SSM. Cause you know, we have like our values saved. Uh, let me just do this so I can show you. Do, 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 do. All right. So it is parameter store. These are all the different values that we had. We, use, we were using the API type, the movie DB token, rapid API host, and rapid API key. So to be able to access those, you're gonna have to give your give that role um, permission to do the SSM. So you can give it full access for the SSM, but we don't really need full access. So why give it full access? We're just gonna give it read only access. because we just need to re be able to read. Let me just move this out the way for a second, all right? Hit that. Okay, 
So now we have those policies attached. And if you see here, we have the SSM and we have that. So one cool thing that they have here is um, if you go to this policy simulator, you can actually test out your roles to make sure that it works. So in this case, uh, what was that role? I don't want to do users, I want to do roles. So we'll do this Lambda tester role. So in here, you can put the um, key, I think it's like key management service, that's the KMS. So once you select your action, we're going to select decrypt because we want to be able to decrypt the code. This is really messing me up right now. All right. So once we do that, what did I, yeah, I picked decrypt already. So we have that one. We can run the simulation for that. Allow. So it's a good thing. If it didn't allow you, then it wouldn't allow you when you actually try to access it from the um, access that URL for the AWS server. And we also need to test the um, <clears throat> the SSM. So let's go SSM system manager. All right. And what we want to test is get parameters because that's what we're using to be able to get the parameters from the store. So there should be a get parameters function in here somewhere, which is here. All right. And if we run the test again, the simulation, we're allowed to do both. So with that being said, we should be allowed to actually access um, this um, Lambda from production. So now that we have that, let's just go back over here and let's say go to these and go to the applications. So I have a couple here. We'll look at the tester-AWS and this is our endpoint. Okay. And if we use that endpoint and go to AWS, oh, come on. Why won't this move? One second. Oh, sorry, hitting the wrong key. Too many keys in my head. All right, so um, what was I doing? Yeah, so if you put this here, and we're doing the movies, because that's the URL, and we're going to do movies. And for the parameter, let's just put um, query, and let's just put um, alien or something. I don't know. All right, so as you can see, that worked, and we had access to be able to actually get results. And we're now using the movie DB. And if we go back to here and just go to our parameter store, we can go to here and change it to something else because I don't think I'm really fully testing. I just said if it's not if it's not movie DB, then use the um, Rapid API. So let's just put um, Rapid API. Or something so then if I click here and I save it so as you can see here it's showing a movie DB and it's popping up with these results and if I send it again now it's using a rapid API and the results are different so if you're really confused and like what is this whole video about then just watch the other three videos that I have um, about this course and that concludes the AWS Lambda course and um, thank you for watching and I'm going to go ahead and try to come up with the next one. All right. So um, if you like these videos, please go ahead and subscribe. And do not forget to hit that bell to get those notifications. And until we meet again, peace out.